Hi. So I got a few minutes before my girlfriend comes home and we're going to go get dinner. So I decided right now the highest priority for me right now is to uh, compile Ghost Rider. Um, and I figured because I just talked about how easy it is to compile applications, I'm like, I should bring you guys along with me. So we're going to we're going to compile Ghost Rider. So Ghost Rider. It's kind of funny, you can't really read that because of my dark theme here. But Ghost Rider, uh, this is the... I'll have the link down below, but this is the uh, Git repository. And all the way down, you have all these different things here. You have the build section. This is what we want. We're going to build this mother sucker. And right here, um, these, are our, these are our dependencies that we need to have. So, real quick, let me... Uh, oh, hmm... Let me just make a new one of those and drag this over here. So this might be kind of hard to see. Make it a little bit bigger for those who need it a little bit bigger. I'm basically going to get cheat by reading off this list here. So I'm going to sudo apt install qt5 default yeah qt base 5 dev basically just going down this list lib qt 5 svg dev qt multimedia 5 dev <laughs> lib qt 5 oh boy um WebKit. There we go. Dev. See, this is this is just ridiculous in the simplicity. Um, lib hun spell dev package config lib qt Five concurrent lib qt five print support lib qt five svg five. So I basically just copied this list down. When you're compiling from source, sometimes you can't find the exact package, and sometimes you can get close with it, but. This is Debian, a very popular Linux distro. So we're going to go ahead and install that. We've installed all our dependencies. It actually was very fast. I can't remember if it stopped before I stopped recording. But yes, we are we are done with that. So now all we have to do is we have this little section right here. It tells us, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes into where we want to build the file. Um, CD. Oh, I, I was doing this. Oh, I have a location that I hold dear to my heart here. Yeah, move this out of the way. I have a big terminal. It was supposed to be the main terminal for everything. I forgot I had that over here. We're going to use this one, and I have a, nothing in my shit folder. Nothing there. So, if you don't already have it, I know I didn't have it on my list, but you need to have installed Git. We'll, we'll come back to that. But we're going to go ahead and get clone Ghost Rider. So I compiled this one in advance, so I know that I need to be running as root to do this, um, not as a sudo. Um, it doesn't say that in the documentation. At least anywhere I could see, I didn't see it on the documentation. But, but you know... You you have to you have to you have to learn how to play, you know, and and mess around with it. So, so I'm gonna go sue, enter my password. And now I am in the Ghost Rider folder, and according to this, I just type in QMake. QMake info. I made a stash. We're good to go right there. Then the big part make. And this is where it takes its time and compiles and 
I did it on my my ThinkPad and it went by pretty fast. Really, she's calling me back already? Sorry about that again. Friday night dinner, big deal. Now the last part, make, install. That's it, baby. We exit out of there. If we go to our thing up here and type in ghost, we have Ghost Rider configured. I had a different version of it on here. It was an app image episode, save that kind of stuff. But yeah, here is uh, Ghost Ghost uh, Ghost Rider ready to rock. And it's that simple. So I'm gonna do a few more compiling programs up soon, so just so if you watch them, you kind of get familiar with the flow of everything. It makes a little more sense, a little less scary. Um, so yeah, peace out, kids.